In this section, we're going to go over the allowance for doubtful accounts. Now, what is the allowance for doubtful accounts? Well, it's basically an accrual for a likelihood of clients defaulting on ARO to your business. For example, if you have a history of clients defaulting on $1,200 in AR each year, you may want to hit each month $100 to allowance for doubtful accounts. And when you write off the AR balance, you simply write it off against the allowance for doubtful accounts. So you expense it along the year instead of expensing it when you officially write it off AR. So it's basically matching revenue with expenses through accrual entries. Let's say for example we are in the company snapshot and we look over at our AR aging and we see boy look at these amounts in 90 days that's ridiculous so we double click to see what these over 90 days consist of and we see there's an amount for our client dang rabbit and let's just say we do not believe there's a likelihood of collecting. Maybe there was a perceived problem with our service, but we're still going to try to collect. We're going to send out emails, we're going to make calls, and we may even drop by their office. But what we should do is we should make an allowance for writing off this amount. The likelihood of collecting is very low so we should expense it. So what we would do before actually writing it off of AR we would make a journal entry. We would go to accountant select make general journal entries and we would make an entry recording the bad debt expense. We would hit the account bad debt expense We debit it for the amount that's going to be written off. In the memo section, we'd write specifically what invoice we expect to be written off, or we could simply write allowance for doubtful accounts if we're making an accrual entry each month for an allowance for doubtful accounts, not specific to an invoice. But since this is specific to an invoice, we would enter the client name and the invoice number. We'd enter the name of the client and class if necessary. Then the credit side would be the allowance for doubtful accounts. We would name the client we're making the write-off for and a class if necessary. When we finally decide to write off the bad debt from AR, we would credit the AR and we would debit the allowance account. The expense will be in the period that we make this journal entry. A lot of public companies for a quarter close will automatically create an accrual entry to write off all AR over 90 days due. Make an assumption that they are not going to collect. That's a very conservative process. But it's a good idea to get an idea of what you usually write off each year and accrue it over the year. And, and if you have to take something out of AR, write it off. You would use the allowance account to write it off the AR. But this is what an allowance for doubtful accounts entails.